Kia ora, Chrissy back again, and we're going to get into the next episode of House of the Dragon. Uh, so last time we had the very sad affair of uh, Rhaenyra and Lanor's wedding. A very quiet, somber affair. Um, lots of tears, especially from Lanor. Poor guy, um, as his lover was brutally um, killed by Christian Cole, who it looked like was going to take his life at the end of the episode until Alicent stopped him. There has been a change in Alicent, I think, and I think we're going to start seeing... Um, a queen that is going to start really barracking for her son to become the king after she learned that uh Rhaenyra you know did um sully herself I, I guess uh even though she originally thought it was by Damon and she found out that it was Christian Cole uh, and taking her uh, and taking her side over her father's and having her father fired and made to leave the um the uh King's Landing I think that has done quite a number on her. Um, and so I think she's ready to start fighting. Damon killed his wife, um, I think, to be able to allow himself to be free to marry Rhaenyra. But obviously that's not going to happen now because she is married. She is married to Lainor. So I don't know what we're going to get into next. I do know, however, that we are having... Um, actor changes right uh i i have seen the articles on that that's it's been very hard to miss the change up of actor so i'm guessing we're going into quite a uh time jump which is really weird um but you know we've been having time jumps quite often in the last few episodes but this is going to be a significant amount of time i'm guessing to have to change actors um actresses actors whatever so yeah i'm really interested in how far ahead we are going to be going i mean i, I don't know if it's like all actresses or if it's just going to be Renera that's changed i guess we'll find out so let's get on to the next episode um season one episode six the princess and the queen let's do it hmm? we're not going right into six already are we Oh no. This looks this looks like the end product of sex. <laughs> Is this her? And push. Is this Rhaenyra? Oh really? The sound effects, really? <laughs> A boy princess. Brave mother. Expect that but <laughs> Kicking like a goat, princess. Oh, cute. The queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Why? A boy. I've just heard. Yes. Hold on. Where are you going? She wants to see him. I'm coming with you. I should hope so. Let me take him. No, she'll get no such satisfaction from you. Just take my arm, at the least. Come on. Was it terribly painful? <laughs> what could she possibly want? I thought we were past this. We are turning back, all right? She can come to us, all right? Unless you wish to carry me down those fucking stairs. <laughs> Still stubborn as shit. This is absurd. Mm -hmm. Where's Viserys? Is he still alive or is she is she ruling at the moment? Oh, look who it is. Princess. She has changed too. You should be resting after your labours. What happy news this morning. Oh, he's still alive. Indeed, Where is he? Well, well he's got only well, got one arm, looks like. There he is. Oh. Wow, he's um wasting away. I do believe he has his father's nose. Don't you? 
Is that his kid? Well done, my girl. She doesn't trust her with that baby. I don't either. <laughs> Do keep trying, Selena. Sooner or later, you may get one who looks like you. Bitch. Okay, so they're not his kids. Okay. Mother. Oh, wow. Oh. We chose an egg for the baby. Ah. Oh. That looks like the perfect one. I let Luke choose. Thank you, Jess. Luke and Chase? Another boy, I heard. Are they his kids? Do they have some kind of understanding here? They do have an understanding, it looks like. Oh, I was gonna say, what the fuck is this? But it's a dragon. <laughs> oh, he's pretty. Siri. Oh. Can I say it? Dracarys. Dracarys, Vermax. Eamon, we have a surprise for you. What is it? Something very special. Is that, um, Aegon and his brother? Behold, the pink dread. <laughs> Little shits. Whoa. Who was that? Oh shit! I don't quite see who that was. He thought they'd happened upon some wild unnamed dragon alluded to the dragon pit. Your grandsons are a menace. They are more children than he is. They're savages. And it's not surprising. It's a wonder to me their eggs ever hatched. Why is that? You know why. We shall continue this afternoon, Eddard. Eddard. To have one child like that is a mistake. To have three is an insult. I had a black mare once. Black like a raven. One day she escaped her pasture, and the neighboring stallion sighed a foal on her. The stallion was as silver as the moon on a winter's night. And the foal, when it was born, chestnut. <laughs> Nature is a thing of mysterious works. So he <laughs> refuses to see it, and she's just fully out in the open with it. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. Spoil cunt. Fuck, it's a far cry, mate. Oh my god, are you? You are. Okay. Whose idea was it? Oh, okay. it, it was the two of them. Emmond is your brother. Oh, he's a twat. We are family. <laughs> Renew will ascend the throne, and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So? Oh, you are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. Then I won't. You are the challenge! Oh. You are the challenge, Egon. Simply by living wow. and breathing! It's definitely changed. No, oh, I didn't even let him finish. <laughs> oh, here's Damon. Whoa. 
Well, what's her dragon's name? Your aim is to marry one of our daughters, Your Excellence. You might have said so and spared us the history lesson. What? <laughs> I would not count. Oh. So these two are married and they've got two daughters. I wish to offer you a permanent residence here in Pentos. This manse I would gift to you outright. My aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Triarchy. Aid Pentos in this, as Egon once did. It's a most generous offer. And one we will certainly entertain. She's not that interested. They are using us. It's refreshing, isn't it? We are more than this, Damon. I want my child to be born where I was born, on Driftmark. I want my daughters to be raised in their homeland with their family. And at my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. I, saw, you know, I did see a little side eye with him in the previous episode, but I didn't think it was going to be to this extent. Egon, let's see if you can touch me. You and your brother. Wonder if he has like a bias against um, Rhaenyra's kids and when it comes to training. I would imagine so. Weapons up, boy. Give your enemies no quarter. It seems the younger boys could do better with a bit of your attention. Yeah, I thought so. Tresharis. You spar with Egon. <laughs> Engage. Jesus. Foul play. I'll deal with him. Press him backward. Both with him. Down the attack. Use your feet. Enough! Ah! You dare to hands on me! Egg on! Your interest in the princeling's training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin. Or a son. Or a son. Shit! You're giving him what he wants! Lord, as much. You idiot. You have laid us open to accusations of an uglier treachery. Your intimacy with the Princess Rhaenyra is an offense that would mean exile and death for you, for her, for the children. People have eyes, boy. Yet His Grace the King, it seems, will not accept what is I say. Mm. You have your honor. And I have mine. Shit! I, I, I'm worried that, like, her kids aren't going to make it out of this, eh? My dear wife. <coughs> Princess? Is this his new squeeze, is it? Would you mind, Sir Carlo? I would like to speak with my husband. Of course, Princess. After all this time, this is... Just what I need. A little adventure. A good honest. Well, she's dealing with all this by political shit. To be back at sea. Are you mad? Do you know what's happened? Vile, disgusting insinuations. Insinuations, are they? They are our sons. Yours and mine. I have played my part here. Faithfully for ten years. Okay, ten years has been <laughs> for ten years. You have indulged yourself at court. This was our agreement. I have not begrudged you. You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Wow. Very well, then I command you. As your princess and the heir to the throne, you are commanded 
to remain in King's Landing and at my side. Shit. I thought they... I don't know. I guess I thought that their agreement would be uh, happy if... <laughs> I actually didn't think at all about when it came time to have kids. There is more than one way to bind yourself to a dragon. I was without one until I was 15 years old. And now I ride a bagel. The largest in the world. But if you wish to be a rider, you must claim that right. Your father will tell you the same. Father ignores me. Why? Because she doesn't have a dragon? Rhaenyra has delivered another son. Does your brother mention if this one also bears a marked but entirely coincidental resemblance to the commander of the city watch? <laughs> He's having all daughters and she's having all sons. It is Lord Blackwood's contention, therefore, that the Brackens moon the boundary stones at the dead of the night. If we may move on, my lord. And lords. yet the Brackens and the Blackwoods will use any excuse to spill each other's blood. So this dispute bears looking into. That is easy enough. <laughs> I like that she's just like so out front with her you know displeasure now I was hoping our negotiations with Sunspear might persuade them to see reason there should have been fortifications built watchtowers a fleet of ships we cannot afford it we must consider the cost to our subjects I must the agree. cost of war is greater let us be finished yes. wait I wish to speak. Uh -oh. I have felt the strife between our families of late, my queen. And for any offence given by mine, I apologise. My son, Jaceris, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. Ally ourselves. Once and for all. Oh, she's not having it. The king and I thank you for your offer, and we will consider it duly. You must rest now, husband. She is sincere. She is desperate. She is desperate. We're a family. Let us put aside these childish quarrels. Join hands and be stronger for it. You may do as you wish, husband. When I am cold in my grave. Wow. The hand, your grace. The king is resting. I will see him. I have come to resign my position as hand of the king. The episode in the yard this morning, my son Harwin has disgraced himself. You have served me faithfully for many years. Tanner's hand. Your advice has been sage. Unmarked by self interest. But there is a shadow over me. Oh, no. I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. I would then ask leave to take my son from court and escort him back to the family seat at Harrenhal. Do it. Not how she wanted that to go. You're going to help me. Nope. <laughs> I was just wondering where the dude was. King had an audience with my father. He attempted to resign his post. Not for as much. My lord husband refused to accept. My father cannot give unbiased counsel to the king. It is now that I must rue the absence of my own father. You cannot say, my queen, that your father would be impartial in this matter. No, but he would be partial to me. Oh. <laughs> in all of King's Landing, is there no one to take my side? What are they going to do? They're going to come up with some kind of scheme. Well, he is, at least. What a collection of heroes I have before me. I am prepared to offer you mercy. Going to use them. A little price. <laughs> what the fuck? She's having a difficult birth. Breach. I've reached the limit of my art. 
child will not come. <gasps> it's just like um, Emma. Oh, where's she gone? She's gone to a dragon. Oh, hey, 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 hey now. Go out on their own terms. He's gonna. Just like that, she knew there was going to be no other way, right? Oh, that sucks. I will return. I promise. Princess. He knows. He's got to know. He's old enough to put two and two together. It's hard and strong, my father. Am I a bastard? You are a Targaryen. That's all that matters. Oh boy. That's gonna sit with him, I think. We're finished here. We're leaving. What of your offer, Jace and Helena? I have been undermined. To Dragonstone, then? We should have left years ago. Helena. Bring him. We'll need every sword we can muster. Still gonna allow it to happen. He's fucking lucky, he's bloody. He's so lucky. <laughs> he's got someone that's so understanding in this in this kind of situation. Oh no. These are the ones that have um, been had their tongues cut out. Wow. Done. What are children but a weakness? Through them, you imagine you cheat the great darkness of its victory. Said, um, Emma's ring. But for them, you surrender what you should not. Jesus. Love is a downfall. You're not just going to leave your kids, are you? You've heard the stories of Harren Hall, Your Grace. You. You passed judgment. Why are you so surprised? I assume you will write to your father now? I did not wish for this. Didn't you? I feel certain you will reward me. When the time is right. Okay, so we have Harwin dead, the hand dead. What did he mean by go, uh, calling your father? Like trying to get him to come back as a hand? I don't think Viserys would allow that. Um, Again, I'm surprised that he's actually still alive, though he's looking pretty fucking pretty bad. <laughs> um, Such a sad uh, end to Lena. Uh, you know, exactly the same as Viserys's wife in the uh in the pilot episode um having to have a cesarean to get out the baby obviously um they knew that it wasn't going to uh end well for the mother the baby or both 
Um, so she chose, she chose to go out on her own accord as a dragon rider. She, uh, she did mention in the earlier, earlier in the episode that uh, her, her death and how she wanted to go out as a dragon rider and not some fat, <laughs> fat cat lord or lady. Um, and she got it so fucking sad because, you know, she lived behind two daughters. If she was going to die anyway, she was going to leave them behind anyway, I guess. Um, but this way she she went out on her own terms, taking her her unborn child with her. Having uh, the girls, you know, being upset and crying at the end and having Damon walk away from them, that worries me. Um, uh, the Because well, there's Bela and Raina. Um, and then the unborn. Bela is the one that has a dragon. Um, Raina says that she didn't, and that's that Damon ignores her. I'm worried that like he's going to kind of wash his hands of his of his kids. I I'm hoping he's not. I'm hoping that him walking away was just, you know, grief, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm assuming that he, you know, really did love Lena. I'm I'm I, I honestly don't know. I don't know how to read um Damon. So yeah, now I'm kind of I'm worried about his daughters. I am mainly worried about Rhaenyra and her sons. Um, the oldest, Jace, thinking, you know, or well, knowing, assuming that he is a bastard. The scheming that Alison's going to do to try and get Aegon onto the throne, I'm worried that her children are going to be standing in the way of that. Um, because... They are a threat to Aegon, and I think that he is that there is going to be like kids against kids, and I'm I'm terrified. I don't like seeing the adults killing each other. You know, having children killing each other. Oh my god, I hope that doesn't happen. But it was a good episode. The time jump didn't phase me too much. The changing of the actors didn't phase me too much. Um, so you know. The thing that really stuck out to me, though, is uh, Alicent's um, change, and I like it, and I'm worried about it. It kind of scares me um, that she's become that she is going to become quite an antagonist for uh, Renera. But yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you for joining with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more House of the Dragon. See ya.